Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this power button. First we'll create a background. Open a new document, change the stroke to none and the fill to white and black gradient. If your gradient window is not open, go to window and select gradient. Now choose white and black. Next press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Click on the top left corner, hold and drag all the way to the opposite corner. Let's change the direction of the gradient and adjust it a bit. Click on the angle pull down menu and change it to negative 90. Next click on the white color stop. Then open the swatches panel. And while pressing down the alt key select the dark shade of gray. Finally, we need to lock the background layer to prevent it from shifting. Either press the Ctrl and number 2 keys on your keyboard or open the sub layers and click on this area. Now we are ready to create a power button. First press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Click on the artboard, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Shift key as well to constrain it. Let's recenter it. First open the Align window. If you don't see it, go to Window and select Align. Make sure Align to Artboard is checked. And then choose Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. Next we'll apply a stroke. First make sure the stroke is selected. Then open the gradient window and select the existing gradient. Open the stroke panel and let's change its weight to about 10 points. If it's hard for you to see the gradient, you can always hide the edges. Either press the Ctrl and H keys on your keyboard or go to View and select Hide Edges. Let's change the angle to 90 degrees. So the dark shade is on the top and the light shade is on the bottom. Next we'll create a smaller circle inside of this one. To do that press the letter S for the scale tool and press enter. Type 70 for the uniform and click copy. With the small circle still selected let's adjust its stroke. Click on the dark color stop, hold and drag it to the middle. Let's duplicate the lighter color stop and move it to the other side. Now click on it to select it and while pressing down the shift key click on any of these sliders, hold and drag to adjust the intensity of the light. We want to make it a little brighter. Now select the bottom color stop and let's make it a little darker. Next, open the stroke panel and change its weight to about 3 points. Let's swap the fill and the stroke so the fill is on top. Make sure the small circle is selected and let's reverse its gradient. To do that, just click on the reverse gradient icon. Then adjust the bottom color slider and make it a little brighter. Next, press the letter V to switch to the selection tool, click on the big circle and let's adjust its gradient. Change the type to radial, move the left color stop to the right, copy this color stop and move it to the left and let's adjust it a little bit more. Now select the middle color stop, open the swatches panel and while holding down the alt key Click on any bright color you like. Let's make a few more adjustments to the fill and a few more adjustments to the stroke. In the next few steps we will draw a center part that will look like this. First select the small circle, then press the letter S for the scale tool and press enter. Set the uniform percentage to 35 and click copy. Let's get rid of the fill, change the stroke to the same bright color 
and increase its weight to about 20 points. Now switch to the pen tool, click on the center guideline and draw a short straight line. Next we will cut a short segment from the small circle. To do that we will need a guideline. First press the Ctrl and R buttons on your keyboard to show the ruler. Now click on the top of it, hold and drag to about right here. Let's zoom in on this part. Now select the scissors tool and make the first cut at this intersection and the second one over here. Next switch to the direct selection tool, select the top part and press the delete key on your keyboard a few times. Let's zoom out and hide the guide. Next select both parts, open the stroke panel, change the cap to round cap and let's add a stroke to it. Go to object, path and choose outline stroke. Change its color to black, align it to outside and increase its weight to about 4 points. If you would like to change the color of your power button, go to layers, open the sub layers, select the layer with the color circle, swap the fill and the stroke, select the bright color tab from the gradient panel and while holding down the ALT key, choose a different color. Now select the center part and apply the same color. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.